Hi. So, we're back with something a little bit stronger. So, if you have issues with any of these exercises, just know it's okay to modify it to suit your body, but just try to make sure you're doing them within a parameter that's good and comfortable for you. So, we're going to follow the 10 Secret 8 part session today, beginning with our warm up. And yeah, let's get started. So, we're going to start sitting, straightening out the legs. Arms out in front, inhale, and we're rolling back down all the way, deep scoop in your abs, and relax down. You can keep your legs long, and inhale, lower your arms down by your side. Exhale, glide those scapulae down your back, and lift the arms up to the ceiling, and inhale to lower down. Exhale. Up, inhale down, and exhale up, inhale down. Placing your hands on the floor by your legs, bend your knees and place your feet directly underneath your sit bones, making sure your body is nice and open on the mat, keeping your pelvis in neutral as if you could balance a little cup of tea doesn't move from this position, inhale, exhale, engage and lifting up that right leg to tabletop and inhale to lower down, exhale, pressing that foot into the floor, lifting the left, inhale down and lift, exhale, inhale down and the other side and down. Engaging nice and strong through the core. We're going to hold that leg up. Inhale, exhale and float the other leg up. Your ribs are nice and funneled through your hips. You're scooping in through your abdominals. Inhale, exhale and tap. Lift, tap, lift. Don't you bend those knees at home, keeping them in that same degree of flexion. And tap. Lift, don't let your lower back arch off the mat. But don't press it into the mat either. You don't want it to be high, you don't want it to be flat. You want it to be neutral and engaging those abdominals, getting those Doritos you ate earlier today to sink further down and getting your abs to engage, okay? And lift up, lower down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, and last one on the left, and bring your knees into your chest for a moment, just rolling out, give your hips a little circle, little circle the other way, legs back up, hands by your side, we're going to extend the leg now, inhale, exhale, extend straight, making sure that knee doesn't come in, inhale back, exhale, extend, inhale back. Once more, on each side, and in. Inhale, hold still, exhale, float your arms up. Inhale to prepare, and exhale, you extend your arm and leg away, and your opposite arm over your head. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. With this exercise, you can either bring it further up to the ceiling, any degree of this is fine, that way is easier. Back to centre. To make it more difficult, go just above the floor. Keeping your pelvis neutral, four more. your chest, rolling out your spine, placing your feet flat on the floor, take your hands up on the exhale, interlace your hands, place them behind your head, pelvis nice and flat, deep breath in, and exhale, curl up, 
inhale down, exhale curl. Your knees aren't moving, your pelvis isn't moving, your ribs is going down to your hips and you're curling around your sternum. So you can actually get quite high without pulling your neck down at all. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Elbows in your peripheral vision. Last one and hold. We're going to reach our arms by our side, curl up higher, bring your arms up to the ceiling, place your hands behind your head and down. Exhale, curl up and extend. This is actually called curl ups with extended arms, just in case you didn't cotton on. Up further, reach arms to the ceiling, hands behind your head and down. And exhale, curl and reach. Curl higher, arms to the ceiling, hands behind your heads, inhale down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Arms to the ceiling. Hands behind your head. And down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hold. We're going to go into our hundreds now. So we beat the arms for a count of five. I'll just take a little break to make a quick point. When you're doing your hundreds, use the back of your shoulder girdle, pump open chest. Do not turn them in, don't strain through the neck. The hundreds have a few different levels of difficulty with the legs as well, so you can experiment with this at home. So either you can hundreds with your head up, hands down, you can have one or both legs up into tabletop, you can extend your legs, you can even move your legs but it depends how you're feeling and what you'd like to do at home. If your neck gives you any issue, you can place one hand behind your head, you can bring your head down as well. We're going to progress on a medium level of difficulty today, but alter it as you like. The breathing of the hundreds is in to the side of the ribs and exhale through the pelvic floor for a count of five each way. Preparing yourself up, Float your legs to tabletop, hold still, deep breath in and out. Two, three, four, five, in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, in. Two, three, four, five, out. Two, three, four, five, in. Two, three, four, five, out. Two, three, four, five, in. Two, three, four, five, out. Two, three, four, five. Halfway, straighten your legs. Two, three, four, five, in. Two, three, four, five, out. Two, three, four, five, in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Breathe in and hands behind your head. And down. And roll out your back and your knees and rest your head. Really just give your neck a little stretch here. Stretch to the other side. Rotate, making sure they get all the tension out. Placing yourself back down on the mat. Going to slide out the leg. So these are leg slides. And you're going to flex the foot. It can be a bit tricky on the mat. If you've got grippy socks, just pull them down a little bit or you can do them on a hardwood floor. And inhale to straighten that leg out fully. Exhale, you're going to flex that foot, drag the heel back and place it flat on the floor. And flex and reach out. And inhale, drawing it back in. You should be able to feel your hamstrings working and your pelvis remains still. And out nice and long. Hold and backing in, place the foot down, sliding out the leg, 
hold your pelvis still and exhale to draw it in. And reaching that right leg out, we're going to hold it there and we're going to take that left leg out so both legs are straight. Reach your arms up for the ceiling, reach your hands behind your head. We're going to go into a roll up, inhale, lift your hands and your head up and exhale, scoop those abs in and lift up tall and over for a nice stretch through the spine and inhale, exhale, we're rolling down again, hands by your sides, bend your knees, place your feet flat on the floor, inhale and exhale, we're going to come into a bridge. Tuck your tailbone under, reach it for the ceiling, open your chest, hips up, inhale and exhale down. Keep your knees in line with your feet, make sure they're not moving. All the way, tailbone presses down, inhale, exhale, curl, roll up, lift up high, squeeze the glutes, Pull the heels in towards you and rolling down all the way and relax. Inhale and exhale up, tuck and curl, lift, reach your fingertips long by your sides and peeling from your upper spine, mid spine, lower back, tailbone and sacrum. Reaching your arms and legs, we're going into another roll up, nice and long. Inhale to lift, flex those feet, scoop your abs, and at this point imagine your abdominals are coming out to the side. You've got trains going in the opposite direction, nice and strong. Scoop, lift, up and over and Coming up, open your chest, bend your knees slightly, hands out in front, just make sure you've got enough space so your hip flexors don't get into any grief. Inhale, sitting up tall, separating that lower spine and exhale to curl back. C curving so your nose is in line with your pubic bone. Inhale to lift up tall, open the spine, open the chest and exhale, curl back. Inhale to lift tall, open chest and exhale. Send those ribs back. Imagine you're getting a hug from behind. You're leaning back here, breathing in, lifting up tall and exhale back, curl. Inhale up, reaching legs long. If you have any issues with your hip flexors here, you can turn them out a little bit. You can also roll up either the back of your mat at home or you can get a little block, place it under. So that makes it easier to just make sure you're releasing enough in there so they're not grabbing. Reaching the legs out straight, open the arms and exhale down again. Scoop the abs all the way down. We're going to go into a single leg circle now. So bending the right knee, we float the left leg up to the ceiling. This is another great example of how you can adjust the lever systems to fit your body. So if you need to have your leg bent, it actually, this having the supporting leg bent supports your pelvis. Having the supporting leg straight supports it as well, but you have to make sure you're not arching your back. And with the other leg, the working leg, having it straight is fantastic if you can. If you're having too much difficulty with that, make, bend your knee, but make sure that your femur is really heavy into your hip socket and just draw the circle with your knee. And to start, inhale over to the right, exhale, draw it down, around and up. Inhale to the right, down, around and up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. How's that cup of tea going on your pelvis? It's not rocking, it's not moving, you're not spilling it on yourself. And reverse in the direction, out to the side, down and up. Out to the side, down and up. 
and three. Inhale, four, and bend that knee. Place it back on the mat. So we're going to try with a straight leg just to show you the difference. Reaching that leg up to the ceiling, flex the foot that's on the floor. Want to make sure those toes are up to the ceiling so your hamstrings are active. Inhale, exhale, down and up. Inhale, exhale, down and up. And three, four, and reverse. One, two. Inhale to the side, exhale around. And last one. And bending in your knees. Give your hip flexors a bit of a massage if you need to. Hug your knees into your chest. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to extend that left leg. Take a hold of our left hand goes to the inside of the right knee. Right hand goes on your right ankle. Inhale. Exhale. Curl up. You can keep your head on the floor for this one if you like. And swap. Two, three, four. So this one leg stretch is very good for your biceps, holding nice and strong. Make sure you're curling up so you're getting as much abdominal as you can. Three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. What we're going to do next is actually move this into double time. So we're going to do that nice and quick without a break in between. Inhale, exhale up, hold, prepare. This arm always crosses across your body, outside hands on the ankle. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, knees back, hands back behind your head. Rotate for crisscross and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down. Relax. Deep breath. And rocking your knees from side to side. And this next one, you want to only roll back to your uh, base of your shoulder blades but what we're going to do is get a little bit more momentum to come up but just know for the future ones you only come back to your shoulder blades okay holding on to your shins you can cross one hand over just don't hold on to them make sure they're holding nice and close to your body inhale exhale scoop and lift come up now your lower back should be very tight, just in general, lots of people are very tight lower back. So when you do this one, make sure you don't hear a kathwak as you go down. You want it to be really nice and gentle movement, which is why we've warmed up. Inhale, head stays to knees. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, up. Inhale, back. Exhale, up. Inhale, back. And up, and back, and up. Now, you'll notice having it in this position is quite challenging because you can't actually take your legs up. You need to keep that ball in, you don't extend your neck, you keep it rolled in at all times. We are going to now progress to our open leg rocker, which is going to have two legs out either straight or you can have it bent at the knee. It's the same premise, but you do actually sit up tall. So coming from here, you can either hold at the knees or if you have the flexibility, open chest, straight legs. Inhale back and exhale. And, and three. And four, up tall. We're gonna stay down, all the way back, coming right into our teaser. So just take a moment to relax. And we're going to inhale and lift. And 
exhale. Up and rolling yourself back down. Inhale, lift, exhale. Up and inhale down. That one could have been smoother. Really watch your lower back with this one. Don't do too many, okay? We're gonna try for two more. And inhale and up, shoulders down. Roll yourself down, watch those hip flexors. Last one and and down. Relax, let's open out those legs. Give them a little bit of a relax before we move into our double leg stretch. Sounds frightening, it is. Just give them, give them another little break before we go into that one. And legs back, parallel. And we're going to take our legs up to tabletop, one and two. Place your hands behind your head just for a moment while I explain this one to you. So we're going to do essentially extend out into sort of a little teaser but your back is on the floor so we extend and curl as you chop last one and down so good job that's not an easy abdominal sequence to master going from the more stabilizing movement of the one leg circle to going from that to the one leg stretch which is a bit more percussive but then the rotation then rolling like a ball open leg rocker coming down teaser double leg stretch you've definitely worked yourself out what that's done is help us keep our ribs into our hips for the next exercise which if you've been into the studio, you'll be familiar with already. For those who haven't, my sincerest apologies. I hope it goes well for you. You're going to lift your head, bring your elbows to your knees, inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna rotate around to the side and open out your arms and your legs. So you keep flat here and you're actually, you're not rolling forward or back, you're just holding still. Inhale to draw everything back exhale around to the other side so i'm pulling a little bit for that bottom arm flexing in the lap and the glutes and legs are active we call this our starfish from here and extend and inhale and extend up but not forward and back and over again and now we're going to gracefully dismount from this exercise and go into our side lie work. So we're going to start with a side lie leg lift. The bottom leg can be bent if you like, just out of the way, but make sure your hips are stacked. Hand on hip or hand to the ceiling. And exhale, we're going to flex and lift the leg. Inhale, point and lower. Exhale, flex and lift. Inhale, point and lower. In this exercise, you want to make sure that you still have a gap between your waistline and the mat. You want to make sure you're flexing quite strongly through your leg and the articulation of the foot is really just to bring a bit of awareness into your ankle and your lower calf as well. Down and up, inhale down, exhale up, last one. Just watch your hips aren't rocking forward as well. You can pop your hand around in front if you need to. Lifting up all the way, we're going to point and hold, and we're going to do some circles with the foot. And a one, two, three, four, five, six. Reverse for one, two, three, four, five, six, and relax down. We're going to go from this into a side bend. So pressing yourself up. With this one, it has a few different levels of difficulty. Again, you can have your feet in stride, one foot in front, one foot behind, or you can stack both feet on top. You can also do it on your elbow, or you can do it on your hand. I'm going to do a few in each so you can see. So we're going to do two feet in stride and elbow down, and it's an inhale up 
and then exhale down and getting ready inhale exhale relax and prepare you're not at the beach nice and up through here and inhale lift and exhale down and inhale lift and exhale down so you are light down very gently you don't thud gently nice and gracefully legs stacked now we're going to come up onto our arm and getting ready to go into our full side bend making sure you're flexed in under here inhale exhale lift inhale down and you can also keep your hand on your hip if you want to make sure your hips are stacked on top of one another and up drawing that shoulder blade down and lowering all the way and relax going to take that bottom leg in front top leg to the side so you come into a bit of a z sit position and we're going to stretch our lat to do that have your hand down inhale exhale lift up the hips side bend over reach that rib up for the ceiling deep stretch you can rotate a little bit if you like and back down 